Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what short circuit evaluation is. So let's get started. I have covered logical operators like AND and OR on my YouTube channel. If you don't know what AND and OR are, I would, I would recommend you to check the link to that video, which is in the description below. Anyway, so, AND and OR are used due to the short-circuiting mechanism that they provide. And you might be wondering what I just said. Well, let me explain. Consider the following expression. Let's say I had if false and if false and 9 is greater than 8, then print true. Else print false. So we don't have to evaluate the second expression over here. 9 greater than 8. And the reason we don't have to do that is because of this and operator right here. If one of the arguments is already false, it doesn't make sense for us to evaluate the other argument, knowing that both arguments have to be true in order for the if statement to run. Now consider this, true or nine is less than four. And, and just like the last example, we don't have to evaluate the second expression because it doesn't make sense because look over here, we have the OR operator. And the OR operator means one argument of the two has to be true. So if, so if the first argument is already true, it doesn't make sense for us to look at the second argument knowing that the operator is OR. Finally, let's consider one last example. I'm going to replace 9 is less than 4 with... 10 is divided by 0. Let's run this and let's see what happens. We get true. And that's because we're using this OR operator and we have true as our first argument. And 10 divided by 0 is our second argument. And since we're using OR, only one of them has to be true. And you can't run 10 divided by 0, otherwise Python's not going to like that and it won't run the program. And that's short circuiting. Python sees the true, it sees the operator, and the operator is OR. So, so that automatically makes it true. If the operator was AND, Python would look at the second argument. Let's see what would happen if I switched the places of these. So I'll replace 10 divided by 0 with true, and I'll replace the true with 10 divided by 0. Let's run this, and we get a zero division error. And you might be asking, well, why? Because we have the OR operator and one of them is true. Well, the thing is, Python isn't smart like us. Python just goes by what it already knows. It can't go forward in the program and say, oh, look, we have a true over here. It goes left to right. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.